Robert Mandel, Nobel Prize winner, and as many call you, the godfather of the Euro. It's great to have you with us, sir, today. Nice to be here. Hi, guys. Do you know why he was called as the father of Euro? Robert Alexander Mandel was born in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. He won Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Science Prize 1999. Robert Alexander Mandel earned his bachelor's degree in economics from the University of British Columbia at the age of 22. He received his master's degree from the University of Washington and a PhD in economics from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Other than that, he was also awarded an Honorary Doctor of Laws degree in 2006 from the University of Waterloo. After graduating, he worked as the editor of Journal of Political Economy and as the Professor of Economy at the University of Chicago from 1965 to 1972. Then, he became a Professor of Economy at the University of Columbia since 1974. In 1989, he taught at the University of McGill as a professor of economics. Besides that, he also served in multiple parties such as World Bank, United Nations, United States Department of Treasury, European Commission and the Canadian government during the early 1970s. Being the one of the first to believe in the theory of the monetary and fiscal policy mix, the theory of inflation, interest and growth, the monetary approach to the balance of payment and one of the co-founders of supply-side economics. He is also known as father of euro and father of theory of optimum currency. What is his contribution? He was the originator of the idea theory of optimum currency area. The way is it can maximize economic efficiency of that entire region with single currency. One of the best examples of implementation of optimum currency area is the introduction of euro currency. The countries from the European Union adopted the euro as their common currency and only legal tender. Euro was officially introduced on 1st January 1999. Europe was one of the largest trading regions. As early as 1929, the League of Nations contemplated an economic and monetary union, but the World War II destroys those ambitions. The euro currency is controlled by Euro Central Bank, which located in Frankfurt, Germany. The four cited criteria for a successful of theory of optimum currency area are First, labor mobility across the region. Labor is free to move between the countries in that region. This included physical ability to travel such as visa and workers' rights, lack of cultural barriers to free movement such as different language, and institutional arrangements such as ability to have pensions transferred throughout the region. For example, suppose home and foreign internationally have equal output and unemployment. Suppose further that a negative shock hits home but not foreign. If output falls and unemployment rises in home, then labor will start to migrate to foreign where unemployment is lower. With an excess supply of labor in one region, adjustment can occur throughout migration. Second, capital mobility, price, wage flexibility across the region. The Eurozone members trade heavily with each other such that intra-European trade is greater than international trade and most recent empirical analysis of the euro effect suggests that single currency has increased trade by 5 to 15 percent in the eurozone when compared to trade between non-euro countries third 
risk sharing system such as automatic fiscal transfer mechanism to redistribute money. This usually take the form of taxation redistribution to less developed areas of country. This policy, through theoretical accepted, the politically difficult to implement as the battle of regions rarely give up their revenue easily. Fourth, participant countries have similar business cycles. When one country experiences a boom or recession, other countries in the union are likely to follow. This allows the share central bank to promote growth in downturns and to contain inflation in booms. One of the fundamental problems of the euro is its single monetary policy for all countries in the eurozone. The monetary policy which controls the supply of the money into a country by targeting interest rates, which is controlled by the European Central Bank. This means that every country in the eurozone has to operate under the same interest rates, despite the huge differences between the economies of the central countries, such as Germany or France, and the periphery countries such as Greece or Spain. This implies that interest rate can be too low for countries like Germany, which produce a lot and too high for countries like Greece who do not produce enough. This is not a big problem by itself, but when mixed with low productivity, it encourages nations to spend more money than they make, building up huge amounts of debt that they cannot realistically pay back. Richer nations, especially Germany, experienced the rising trade surpluses against the euro while periphery countries had large current accounts deficits. Therefore, implementing a single monetary policy also means that individual countries cannot devaluate their currency by printing money when the financial crisis hits. For example, the UK and the US were able to devaluate their currency by printing more money, helping to boost exports and become an important tool for restructuring their economies. However, on the other hand, countries like Greece and Portugal within the European Union did not have that option, and the only way to restructure their economy was through internal austerity, by cutting wages and decreasing government spending. The second fundamental problem of the euro lies in the EU's fiscal policy, in contrast to the monetary policy. Each nation has a separate fiscal policy, which leaves a very mixed economic structure for the EU. The fiscal policy refers to the government expenditure and the collection of revenue through taxes which affects the economy of the country. What has been suggested by many economists is that it is impossible to completely separate fiscal policy from monetary policy, as central banks can prop up government bond prices by monetizing debt, meaning that the central banks of the countries can buy up the debt of the country, although it is illegal to buy it directly, that it can easily be bypassed to help increase the supply of the money, which will in turn affect the monetary policy. The need for monetary and fiscal integration can be explained through the Mandel Fleming model. Robert Mandel and Marcus Fleming that introduced extension of the ISLM model. By describing an open economy, the model shows the relationship between countries' interest rate output and nominal exchange rates, arguing that a country cannot simultaneously achieve a fixed exchange rate, free capital movement, and an independent monetary policy. This is known as the impossible trinity. Fixed exchange rate, free capital movement, and an independent monetary policy. The EU, for the example, has a flexible exchange rate and instead decides to target interest rates and free capital movement. The model is composed of the IS curve, which is output is equal to the sum of consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. The LM curve, which is money supply, divided by price is equal to the liquidity preference based on the interest rate and output. The balance of payment curve, which is current accounts or net exports, times capital accounts or cash flows. The problem of the Europe's idea of having all the members using the same currency causes Greece's economy to be in a disaster. A quarter of the populations are being unemployed and face debt prices. The imbalance unemployment rate between the members of the EU causes Greece is unable to resolve its economic problems like how the UK did. To work these problems out, 
big financial transfers from other rich countries need to be done. For example, in the US, poor states like Kentucky and Alabama are constantly getting money from richer states such as California and New York through a welfare system. However, in the EU, rich countries are not willing to do so. They prefer to support their poor states in the nations rather than supporting their poor member country in the Union. That's all, and thank you. Ha, 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 ha.